Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming my teeth whitening routine and yeah, I was lucky enough to get sent some teeth whitening product from this brand called Smile Brilliant and they were nice enough to send me some product to review. And before this I used Crest teeth whitening, like those little strips and those work fine as well but they do make my teeth like super sensitive and I'm going to zoom in here and <laughs> I kind of had a little bit of a experience with them. I'm gonna, we're getting really up close and personal to my mouth right now. So I'm going to smile and you see how my gum is darker like right there. Yeah, that's from the Crest Whitening Strips and that was like, happened like two years ago and it still hasn't gone away. I don't know, something weird happened with them one day. I was just using them. It was like before prom or something like that and my gum like turned white where it was right there and it burned so bad and so I took them off obviously and it was white for like a week and then it just slowly faded away to this like bruised color and now it's super sensitive there it, like if I floss or anything so I feel like I got a chemical burn or something that's at least what my dentist said was most likely that happened so I'm a little weary of whitening products after that but yeah, we're gonna try this one, and um, this is my teeth before doing anything to them. I know they probably look pretty white, but that's these lights help with that a lot. They're really not that white in real life, but um, I'm also just gonna insert a picture here in natural lighting so you can see how they really look, and I'll do it before and after. So, long intro. Uh, I already did the whole process of doing the mold and all of that stuff and um, I filmed it but I was it was at like 12 o'clock at night and I was so tired and I wasn't even like making sense so I just decided to cut that out of this video it's not that important anyways it's literally just the same thing as when you go to like the orthodontist and they do that little mold for you to get your braces you just do that and then you ship off the mold and um, I just got it back today. I'm going to cover it. It's just in this cute little packaging. It's pink. I love it. And yeah, I'm just going to open that. And we'll see how well they fit. One thing I was concerned about was actually like, I've got a permanent retainer. I don't know if you can see hmm. behind my teeth. So I was kind of worried about how like the bottom one was going to fit because it's kind of weird to like put a retainer kind of deal over another retainer but we'll see how it goes so yeah I'm gonna try them on this is the bottom one eh, fits pretty well there's a little bit of spacing but if I bite down I feel like it'll stay in place I'm gonna have a major list let's see how the top one fits that one fits really well. Yeah, I figured the bottom might be a little bit wonky. I should probably take off my lipstick for this. Oh well. So they fit, and now, basically, I'm just gonna put some on and I'll show you guys how it looks. <laughs> my list is so bad. I'll show you guys how it looks um, before really quick, and then I'll do it after, just in one use. Blech. And one more thing I wanted to mention is that I'm um, I'm really excited for this because it's another problem I've had with whitening my teeth. It comes with a desensitizing gel and I think that's really awesome and I'm going to definitely put it to the use. We'll see how sensitive my teeth get after just one use. I don't know if they will, but if they do, I'm going to add this in the video and for sure say if it works or not. Okay, so I've just put them in my mouth, obviously. I sound like um, <laughs> the girl from, what's her, Zoe 101, Cotton Flob. Anyways, whatever, that's just a dorky observation. So I'm going to leave these in for 30 minutes, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. It's been 30 minutes. My laptop's falling down. 
it's been 30 minutes and uh, I'm just about to take these off. I can already tell my teeth look a lot whiter, so I'm excited. Um, I've just got a little washcloth to wipe off all that jazz. So, this is going to be gross, but here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was really gross. Okay, so normally I'd just brush my teeth after that, but um, I didn't feel like getting up and doing that. So I just wiped it off with a washcloth, and now I'm gonna zoom in and kind of show the after just from one use. I think they look a lot lighter. I don't know, is that just me? They look good. Mm. These two teeth that I have right here, they have a fake kind of um, like fake enamel on top of them. So throughout this process, these teeth are all probably going to get really white and then these will stay a little bit more yellow, especially up here at the top because it's like fake color basically on my teeth. Um, so I'll probably have to go to the dentist and get them to redo that after I finish this whole process of whitening my teeth. But, um, yeah. Okay, so I just whitened them. I think they look really good. They are feeling a bit sensitive though. I just took a sip of some cold water and it, I can definitely feel that they're not as strong as they- I don't, I don't know what the word is. They're sensitive. So I'm gonna go rinse out my trays and put in some desensitizing gel and I'll be right back and tell you how it works. Okay, so I am back about 30 minutes later. That's how long they said to leave the desensitizing gel on. It's not terrible. It's definitely better from the first time I did it, but my bottom teeth are still really, really sensitive, but that's expected because they're always sensitive. They have been my entire life. Like, I've never been the type of person that's able to, like, bite into popsicles or anything of that nature. If you can do that, you are so lucky. But yeah, I can do it with my top teeth, just not my bottom. So yeah, I definitely think that it helped, which is really cool. It's a clever little product in there. So, so that is my current teeth whitening routine. Um, I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you want to look into getting this kit, I'm going to link it down below, obviously, in the description box. I think it's really awesome. I don't know of any other teeth whitening brand that comes with a desensitizing gel, and that's something that really comes in handy when you're whitening your teeth, no matter if you're getting them done in the dentist's office and getting them professionally done or doing them at home yourself. I think that's really cool to have that. So, anyways, it'll be linked down below. And one more quick little added thing. I did my makeup before this video and it actually turned out better than I was anticipating it to. So if you guys like this look, just comment down below and I'll totally do a tutorial on it, but I don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in, so just let me know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.